Welcome back in, folks. Glutch here, and you're on the Kubota Dairy Farm. We are uh, just checking out some of the fields here in between our fields, which we're going to be pulling some hay off today and getting that much closer to finally getting some cows. We need some cattle. We need to get some cattle on this ranch, get this dairy farm up and running. It looks, looks pretty close. We're almost there. Let's get the mowers out. Let's start cutting some hay. It's a great day for hay. Pitter patter. <laughs> Once again, I know we've been on this map a lot lately. I've been digging. We are digging the cattle farm here, the Kubota cattle farm. Guys, my plan is, if you guys remember my plan, I, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Between each of these fields, now all these are planted minus the one over here on the left. This one on the left has not been planted yet. Everything else is planted. This one here is not planted. That one over there is planted. So not planted over here, planted over there. And I'm, the only reason this isn't planted is we're putting corn in here. I'm waiting for the... I haven't got the corn. I don't have a planter yet. But in between each of these little strips, there's a fair amount of grass that we can cut. And or a little bit of hay, I should say. We can cut there and cut down this hay. And uh, yeah, so we're probably going to take... Maybe the first one will be... We'll get this hay. The second one we'll take as grass and turn that to silage. So hay and silage... That's what we're going to need to get, guys. So, hay on one, silage on the other. You guys, you guys get it. It's like one to one. Oh, yeah. Hammer down. Hammer down. Oh, easy, easy. This little Kubota side by side does like to rip, though. Get around this corner. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Through and in. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's like a little go-kart. All right. Stop. Now, I've only got one option still to mow with, guys. We've got to use the big, the 135, because it's got a front end uh, three point hitch on it with PTO. So I need to use this. So pull this through. Now, we do have, we've got Kubota branded mowers. We got Kubota branded balers. It's it's all Kubota pretty much all the time. We do have, well, we have one Bobcat right now as well. There's the mowers, the, the Bobcats right there. Actually, we got two Bobcats. What am I kidding? Bobcat one, Bobcat two. And back on in we go. Let's, uh, let's go load this thing up. Now, let's see here. I should probably take... Um, hmm. This is not going to be easy no matter what I do, the way we got this all set up. Once again, the, the truck is in my way. I uh, will get this all taken out, guys. I'm just going to have to to man this. Let me just give this a quick shove over. Get back in here. And we'll just shove this over. All right. Now, just grab on and just kind of give it a shove. There we go. There. Now, unfortunately, with this setup, there's no change. You can't change your, uh, your swath droppings at all. They're stuck going where, well, wherever they go. That's unfortunate. It'd be nice not to have to windrow along along with it, but uh, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers here. Let's uh, start unwrapping all this stuff and dive in right here. Get the front down, get the back unfolded as well. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't feel like we're getting very much off of this field. Just looking at this right now, it doesn't feel like we're getting all that much. I'm sorry I didn't live up to expectations. We'll have to wait and see once we windrow it. I think the bigger field... Okay, we're going to do silage off the big field, I think, and hay off the smaller field. We'll need more silage than hay, right? All right, first field, that's going to do it. Let's wrap this around. We'll start right away here. Let's turn this off, lift everything up, and uh, let's go over to the second field right inside here. You know what? This is pretty quick because we can get most of these done in like one pass pretty much. Well, two passes, like there and back. You know what I mean. And uh, yeah, not bad at all. Back to work. Even just a little bit of grass beside the fields. So uh, that's not a problem. Don't want to be into our field, of course. I'm just going to make sure I don't drive under there. That's all. Man, the more we're going through this, the less confident I am that we're going to have enough hay and silage for to do anything, really. This is, um, this does not look like very much. I'm really hoping that once we start windrowing this, that it's going to, it's going to perk up a little bit. But I mean, we're coming around these corners here. And I'm just looking at the, the droppings we're getting from hay, and that does not look like very much hay in my book. I don't know what you guys think, but... Uh, of course, expectations are high. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking out the window here. I mean, it looks like it was fairly tall. I'm just surprised. Please lower your expectations. Oh, still haven't seen anyone come down the laneway either. Keep my eyes peeled, just in case. You guys let me know if you see anyone coming down this way. We can't have that. All right, slight, slight change of plan. So... Uh, we're going to finish off the western side here. The the road that kind of goes down into the field is right ahead of us there. And we're just going to finish off this section. So we're all on the western side of the whole area. The whole side of the western side of the farm. So you can see there's a farm right there. And we're just going to do all this. We're going to bail this stuff up for now. I may, I'm may i going to see if I let this part down at the bottom here dry out. And we'll let it cure and turn to hay. The rest will bail right away and turn that into silage. That is my plan for meow. Okay. Plan for now. Yeah. Silage. This part will be hay. And then we've still got the other half that we can grab maybe later on. Um, 
we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we're kind of we're kind of winging this, guys. We're winging this pretty hard right now, but we, we, at least we, we're leaving ourselves a backup. Always gonna have a backup. Backup plan. Always gonna have a backup plan. Words, words to live by. Okay. Time for plan B. So we'll leave the 135 back at the farm for the time being. We'll get the twins out. The twins are gonna come out, and uh, and Gertie is as well is gonna come out and give us a hand with with a little bit of farming, guys. She can come out and bale. I'll run the wind rower, and uh, we'll see if we can get through these grass bales somewhat quickly. Oh boy, she's a little rough in here. Not bad. That 135 did uh, pretty good work in there. But the twins, there we go. We'll get the one 111, the one of the other ones over there. I gotta get Gertie, but let me just jump inside here. Fire this on up. Oh, this one's a mess. We haven't had this one cleaned up at all yet since yesterday. Uh, we'll get this thing all turned around and set up, and uh, we're gonna go grab the baler and the windrower. Gertie, where the heck are you? Come on, let's go. All right, I think we're we're good to go. Um, Gertie's giving me the stink guy here, guys. I gave her the dirty tractor. <laughs> she's yeah, she, she's not even looking at me. Gertie, it's okay. You don't have to be mad. You don't have, you don't have to be mad. Come on, don't don't go don't go away mad. Ah. Uh, that face, I can't, I can't be mad at that face, guys. I can't be mad at that face. Come on. All right, let's unwrap this littlest wind rower in the world. And, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Turn this thing on. And, um, yeah, let's, let's see if we can get to work here, shall we? Oh, this is going to take a hot minute, though. Yeah, definitely going to take a hot minute. And, and like I said earlier, guys, there doesn't seem to be a lot of grass coming off this wind rower. Uh, just watching back behind us there. Hey, we haven't even pulled a single bale out of that baler yet. Um, yeah, we're not getting a, a whole ton of grass here. That's a little bit worrisome because I am really relying on this grass to feed our cows. And if this is all we're going to get off this, even when it grows, like, is it just that thin of a grass? Do we need to replant this maybe with something a little bit thicker? And maybe this just isn't hardy grass. Maybe there's, there's something that's, that's just not thick enough. It, I'm a little bit surprised though. We're just not getting very much off this at all right now. It's it's pretty weak. It is pretty weak. Okay, we're getting a few bales, but nothing nothing spectacular. I think we've got maybe two bales up here so far. Yeah, that's it. Not a lot, as you can see. Like, look at the the swaths we're getting from the wind roar, guys. Like these wind rows are nothing at all that this is pushing up against here. It's a little. I wouldn't say it's just. Well, it's disappointing. I'm definitely gonna say it's disappointing. So. I don't know how far we're going to get with this. I'm starting to have to revise my plans a little bit. And maybe we might have to start planting some grass. Is that a thing we're going to have to do? I mean, don't get me wrong. It seems kind of ridiculous if we have to plant a bunch of grass. I will do what has to get done. But if we have to plant grass to get this done, that we've got all this grass between these fields. That seems ridiculous to me. Oh, well, at least, at least the scenery is nice down here. I mean, look at this. It's just beauty down here. It's a great day for hay. Indeed. I feel like I'm working on a golf course down here. This grass looks so good when she's been mowed down a bit. Uh, let's zip this around one more time. And uh, we're, we're done the first field. All right, we're going to head over to the second one, and we'll do these ones as well. Not that there's anything wrong with um, this rake, but if we had a proper size one, we'd be done this for like a third of the time. Instead, we've, we've got like several passes to do. <laughs> like most rakes would be like the same size as the same width as this grass patch. Uh, but this one here, she's a little small. You know what, it, it, it's okay. It does, it works out nicely because it fits and what's so maneuverable and it's pretty easy to use. But uh, it'd be nice if we had something a, a little bit bigger. Oh man, guys, we've been at this for so long that uh, literally grass is growing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, our fields are sort of growing, so that that's okay. That's that's all good. But uh, we're gonna leave the rest of those. There's two more fields down there. We're gonna leave the rest of those. Let that cure in the sun, and uh, we'll deal with that later on. Hopefully, we can get some hay off that. But this is all gonna be silage bales. All these bales down here. We'll go pick these up. We have probably 24. We have at least a trailer full. Oh, Gertie, easy, easy, Gertie. E We've left everything out in front of the shop back there. Gertie promises she's gonna clean it all up later on. For some reason, I don't believe her. But uh, let's go grab the bale trailer. And uh, we'll go get in this field, grab these bales, and uh, we're going to wrap them. i got to figure out where I'm going to wrap those things. Probably should have had her start with this one, to be honest with you. This thing's filthy. Uh, it's, it's okay. We, you know what? We're not going to be in it for very long. We just need to pick up these bales. They don't take that long, and we should only have... I bet you we'll have about a trailer full. We'll see. I didn't I didn't do a count. I really should have been doing a count, but uh, no counts. All right. Pull on in. Grab you. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, make a run around the field here. 
like I said, not too, too many to grab here, I don't think. So it's going to be 21 bales in total. We've got one more bale down in the corner here. 21 bales. That's actually perfect because I didn't want to go grab a bunch more. Uh, we'll get to work on these. We're going to start wrapping these right away. Perfect. Let's spin this around. Wrap this all together. And uh, I got to figure out where we're going to put the wrap bales, though. Ah, I don't really have a lot of great spaces out here. I got to figure this out. We got we got some mathing to do here on, on space for these bales and where we can put this line of bales. All right, hear me out. I think we might be able to stack them like two rows just along this fence line. And that's going to be convenient because it's fairly close to all our cattle. We can mix right in this area. Yeah, that's going to work out all right. Okay, let me get this set up. All right, we got the bale wrapper. I think I, I, that door is all jammed up right here. I'm having an issue trying to open that thing. Got to make sure we fit through that. Perfect. All right, let's go uh, put this over against the fence line. And let's see here. I think I'm going to want it to move this way. We'll have it so it goes this direction. Uh, so I need to spin this. Yeah, we got to spin this thing around. Perfect. Yeah, so we load from this side. Bales are going to push and stop here. And then this little device is going to move all the way down the fence line. Perfect. That looks good. I think the best spot we can just unload is this right in the middle here. Excellent. I like it. So if I did my math right, which I most likely did not, this will probably end up being around the right size to, well, we'll see. We might have to do two path or two different uh, sausage rolls here, basically, in order to get this to work. We'll have to wait and see, guys. Not sure what to expect yet for this. Drop that in. There she goes. Wrapper's fired up. Make sure that wrapper turns on. It should be all set. Yeah, there she goes. Excellent. I love when a plan comes together. So the, um, the math that I was talking about earlier, yeah, you guys completely can, can ignore exactly what I was saying there. Your math is blowing my mind. Excuse me? Uh, we're not even close. We got lots of space here still. I might actually have uh, too much space, if that's even possible. Uh, yeah, we're not even close, guys. I mean, look at this. We're only like halfway. We only have, what, five bales left here? Uh, yeah, not a problem at all. We got so much space. We got so much room for activities that uh, it doesn't even matter. It's so, so good. Let's see if we can do this properly. Grab that. Pull that one off. There we go. You know what? We're getting pretty good at doing uh, two at a two furs here. Two at a timers. Use the telehandler. This thing is the way to go for sure on this. This little bale wrapper is working pretty good for us though. Just kind of grab that edge there. Drop this off. Pull it on back. And good to go. Three more bales left to go. And finally, last two we can grab together. So this um, is going to solve one problem for us. We do have silage now. We still got to figure out the hay and then get the cattle. Uh, I think I could, might have to buy some straw bales because we're not going to have them ready in time. So that's kind of where we stand right right now. I did want to get this, this hay going sooner than later. Oh, darn it. I hate when I fail on the last one. But I uh, wanted to get this, this, this uh, silage going on as quick as we could. This is working out swimmingly, though. I'm pretty impressed with how this whole system just came together like that. Guys, look at that. Let's turn this off. Boom. That's great. Look at that sausage. Looks fantastic. I think, uh, I think all we got to do left right now, guys, is uh, just finish off the last bale. So let's turn this thing. Oh, boy. What is it doing? What is it doing? Okay, good. Okay, good. I thought I was going to launch it for a second there. There we go. Let's get this thing out of the way. Pull it all the way through. Yeah, it's, it's going to push that through. And, and of course, if you're looking for, well, the, the, tr the trailer that we use for the bales or this wrapper, the Anderson wrapper, this is all part of the Anderson DLC for Farm Sim. You can find the links down in the description if you're looking to still purchase it. If you haven't, this is one of the first DLCs that came out for Farm Sim. It's fantastic. One of my favorite DLCs, actually. This one's pretty cool. It's totally unique, right? Anyways, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys know what to do if you did. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell while you're at it so you don't miss anything. And uh, yeah, folks, we'll catch you next time. From the, uh, the Bobcat and Kubota Farm. Where's my Kubota gone to? There it is. The Kubota and Bobcat Farm. <laughs> the dairy farm. This is clutch. Over and out. Thank you.